Hi and welcome to another Instrument Show support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to take a direct soil pH measurement using the ICHI 981030 Growline Soil pH Tester. To perform a pH measurement you will need some tap water for rinsing, distilled water to soften the soil, the pH meter with the cap removed and an auger, ruler or something to dig with. Before each use, inspect the pH probe to ensure the bridge electrolyte has not dried out and perform a calibration. If the electrolyte has dried out or you're not sure how to perform a calibration, see the links in the video description for guides on how to do so. Once bridge electrolyte is confirmed and the unit is calibrated, it's time to take a measurement. First we'll check the pH of the soil of this indoor plant. Important note, when digging holes for measurement, ensure that they are the same depth each time. This will help to avoid pH discrepancies. Dig a small hole to loosen the soil you wish to obtain a pH measurement in. Then add some distilled water to the hole. The soil should be damp but not saturated. Wash the electrode in the tap water, then insert into the hole. Allow some time for the reading to develop and stabilise. When the small hourglass disappears from the screen, the measurement is stable. The small hourglass has disappeared and we have our soil pH reading of 6.95. Remove from the soil and rinse. Repeat the same to take further measurements. Dig a hole to loosen the soil. Add some distilled water so that the soil is damp but not saturated. Rinse the pH meter in tap water, then insert into the soil. Wait for the small hourglass to disappear from the LCD to indicate a stable measurement. We have our second reading of pH 7.82. After use and before storage, rinse the electrode well in distilled or deionized water. Then add a few drops of the included electrolyte storage solution to the cap and store away for your next soil pH measurement. And that's how to take soil pH measurements using the ICHI 981030 Growline Soil pH Tester. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.